This is a penguin walking on ice. This is a tire driving on a winter road. The tire isn't any old tire either. It's the Continental Viking Contact 7, built for winter. Notice how the penguin keeps upright despite the slick surface. Oh, there. That was a close call. Their toes are bumpy and ribbed. Claws latched onto the ground when the terrain gets slippery. Features evolved over millions of years to provide grip. The features of the Viking Contact 7 weren't evolved, but engineered and made over 10,000 hours of research and development. It's a complex combination of chemistry and engineering. The three main elements that make a winter tire superior are grip performance, tracking stability, and traction and braking. So what keeps the tires rubber on the road, like the penguins feed on ice? When the weather becomes most foul, the temperature drops, and rain turns to sleet, turns to snow. Watch the thermometer. When it gets below 45 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 7 Celsius, the compounds of a tire physically change. Tires produced for every other season but winter become increasingly stiff and inflexible. But with a winter tire, the compounds it's composed of are purposefully softer, allowing it to remain flexible in order to keep gripping the road. This is how the treads of a winter tire are able to splay and wrap themselves around the tiniest of bumps on cold pavement. We're talking a microscopic tiny, even on ice. When it comes to tracking stability, imagine the network of grooves molded into a tire. The treads we were just talking about. You might think that tires need to shed snow when they turn, but these grooves actually want to build up snow, packing it tight into the tread pattern. It's sort of like what happens when you make a snowball. Snow sticks to snow and tires stick to the road. In the end, it all comes down to tread pattern. Advanced winter tires like the Viking Contact 7 have 3D sipes that bend. Think of them as edges, creating more contact area for the tire. All season tires have straight tread lines, whereas winter tires have squiggles cut into the rubber. These curves give you 40% more surface area than the straight lines on summer tires meaning that much more of your tire is on the road to create friction and grip to break. It's always cold where the penguin lives in the Antarctic tundra. Unless you live there, you have a decision to make come winter time, once it gets below 45 degrees out, about what type of tire you're going to drive on.